Poor Corrigan, thoughts after that? A battle, that's what it was. We expect nothing less from them. We started off great and uh, we were kind of wondering was Ray playing games with us and let, you know taking his foot off the pedal a wee bit and then they kind of at the water break first water break they regrouped and they got the matchups better um, on our players and then it was pure battle from there to the end you know so this looks like it's going to be the parent for the semi-final as well how much do you read into kind of what happens today when it comes to maybe uh, two weeks time when you play that game um i think the intensity will be different although you know that was as I said a good battle the intensity be up because there's all there's winners on both teams you know and they'll, they, they, you know they'll, they'll, both teams will know they'll have to up it if one team doesn't up it the other one will win at a counter so it has to be you know everyone goes to war in two weeks time played in front of no crowd today the referee was very involved with your sideline you could hear nearly everything what was happening when you had a little chat midway through that third quarter of the game uh, look at it, it, it. It's the heat of the battle kind of stuff. Look at I, I know Eugene. We used to work in the same same job. He um, we do feel that our forwards sometimes when they're going through are dragged down and stuff like that. And it's happened over the last two or three years. So uh, you know, raise raise cute out. He goes he goes out and talks to them nice and quietly. And maybe I react in the in the wrong way. So like you know, I. I, I I talk to you, you know, pro- you know, like no, no, no problem with you, you know, right like that. Just maybe I should, maybe I should learn from, from Ray. Uh, you know, a bit of cuteness with the referees, and you know, he's in the rear, but in in a quieter kind of way. So, listen, well done, today. Your start. Thanks, a minute.